Fredericksburg, Texas, named one of the 1,000 places to see before you die. Fredericksburg in Gillespie County is located in the scenic Texas Hill Country, recently listed by the New York Times as the number one destination in 31 places to go this summer. Now you may be asking yourself, why did 1.5 million visitors per year from all over the world flock to this little town? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Kerry Dyer, and this is Fredericksburg from the top. Hey, glad you've joined us. Today, we're going to look at a true piece of Gillespie County history. You know, when someone says, I'm going to Lukenbach, Texas, you never know just quite what they mean. They may be referring to the 160-year-old general store, the boot scootin' dance hall, or the 500-year-old oak trees. Most likely, though, when someone says Lukenbach, they're not talking about a town, but a state of mind, a Texas state of mind, where you can kick back, relax, and get away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Are you ready, Hondo? Welcome to Lukenbach. The modern history of Lukenbach began in 1970. It had remained in the hands of the Engel family since the mid-1800s. But one day, Bino Engel placed an ad in the local paper, Town for Sale. At this point, Lukenbach's second life began. It was purchased by a collection of Only in Texas characters led by Hondo Crouch. He formed a make-believe Old West Town and proclaimed himself mayor. Well, here's one of the real-life characters at Lukenbach, Virgil. Virgil, what is it that you do around here? I'm Virgil the store guy. I'm the assistant manager of our general store and our bar. Well, this general store is amazing. How long has it been here and how did it come to be? Well, in 1849, August Engel, an interim Lutheran preacher, settled here with his family. And that kind of started the trading post. They traded with the Comanche Indians and the pioneers alike. His daughter, Mina, her fiance was one of the Lukenbach family, Albert Lukenbach. So when she applied for the post office in 1850, it was under the town name Lukenbach. So the general store, as a trading post general store, has been in operation from then till now. 1849, folks. 160 years. All right, Virgil, I gotta have a souvenir. How about one of those yellow t-shirts right there? This yellow t-shirt's a pigmented shirt. It won't rust, bust, collect up dust, bark about the baby. You can't even throw this shirt away. It'll come right back. But wait, that's not all. If you buy this shirt at record price today, anytime, the rest of the time, today, tomorrow, the next day, the day after that, I will sell you the second one of these shirts at record price. <laughs> They've got everything in here. Candy, bumper stickers. Have you ever seen a sink stopper with a jalapeno on it? Die cast trucks, jewelry. What is this? A cactus back scratcher. I didn't even know a cactus had a back. Lukenbach came into its current worldwide fame when Waylon Jennings and Willie Nelson released their massive hit song in 1977. You know, it really is all about being laid back and relaxed here at Lukenbach. We're here in the middle of the week and the folks are sitting around, having a drink, sharing stories, and seven days a week, they're listening to the music of Jimmy Lee Jones. Was the and she worked the gambler's hand. Her name was Julie. We have live music here daily and then on the weekends we have some big shows and we have festivals that include using the whole property where there will be five or ten shows in the same day such as the Blues wow. Fest. Any idea how many visitors a year you guys pull in? Uh, I think there's somewhere around a quarter of a million. Wow. The legendary dance hall here at Lukenbach still hosts regular dances by some of the best Texas musicians around such as Pat Green, Gary P. Nunn and Ray Wiley Hubbard, and somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 private parties are booked each year, keeping the dance hall alive almost every weekend. Finally found a good Lukenbach souvenir. I'm a messy eater. Once you get done shopping in the general store, you can always come to the back and belly up to the bar. All right, Linda, set me up with a cold one. Thanks. Less filling. One too many. 
Some people might come here and ask, is this all there is? It's true, Lukenbach is more siesta than fiesta, but that's part of what keeps visitors coming back. It's the chance to slow down, relax your mind, and feel the quiet charm of days gone by. Today, it reflects an eclectic mix of its early history and an unrivaled legacy of great music that makes you feel like Thank you, thank you. I'm here all week. Now sit down. You're embarrassing me, my people. <laughs> Everybody really is somebody in Lukenbach. Well, folks, that brings it to a close. Hope you enjoyed this week's show. Come on back next week and join us for another episode of Fredericksburg from the Top, where we'll explore more of Fredericksburg and Gillespie County's many attractions. See you then.